Hi, my name is Jean. My wife Brenda and I have two children, Brian and Katie. I remember the day we brought Brian home from the hospital. I distinctly remember thinking, okay, we made it home without completely destroying this kid. Now what? It seemed insane to me that the doctors and nurses would allow Brenda and I to be in charge of this tiny human being's life indefinitely. I think the best word to describe my first M impression of parenting would be overwhelming. I was overwhelmed with love, overwhelmed with responsibility, overwhelmed with exhaustion, overwhelmed with trying to figure out how to swaddle a child, how to calm myself down while trying to calm down a baby, and a wife for that matter, and how to put a baby in a doorway swing without completely regretting it for the rest of my life. Maybe that's just me. You know, parenting is overwhelming. Some of us deal with that in different ways. We read books. We ask for advice from professionals. We reach out to friends or family members who are a little bit further down the road from us. We read online forums, which I don't recommend, by the way. At one point, I got so desperate, I'm pretty sure I got on Wikipedia. There's plenty of advice out there, but even that can be overwhelming, right? I mean, the sheer volume of ideas, theories, and guidelines is enough to make you want to quit before you even start. Listen, I've been there. Every parent has been there. But I want to give you one thing to focus on, one thing to think about when it comes to raising your children. And if you can get this concept, we think it will narrow the scope of your focus and maybe over time, ease some of the overwhelming feelings we all deal with. In Deuteronomy 6, 5 through 7, Moses gave some parenting advice. Here's what he said. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Moses doesn't begin a debate on whether or not you should let your child cry it out at night. He doesn't talk about pacifiers, baby sign language, or how much television kids should watch. No, Moses tells the people that the most important thing they can pass along to their child is a love and knowledge of their Heavenly Father. And we think, that's so obvious, right? Of course I'm going to pass that on. But it's easy to get caught up in all of the day-to-day -day tasks involved with parenting and lose sight of this simple truth. Outside of them knowing they are loved, nothing is more important than your child's faith. Nothing is more important than living a life that shows your child that their Heavenly Father created them, loves them, and desperately wants a relationship with them. So instead of asking yourself what you want your child to do, what if you ask yourself, who do I want my child to be? I remember making a long road trip with my dad in his old green pickup truck. I was amazed at how focused he could always stay while driving. When I took the wheel, I would get distracted, zone out, feel my eyes drooping, but not him. He could drive and drive for hours without any signs of exhaustion. I asked him how he did it. He told me to pick a town on the next road sign and just try to get there. Once we made it to that town, he told me to pick another town on the next sign. It didn't make our trip any shorter, but focusing on smaller goals that eventually led to our ultimate destination helped me push through. We want to help you do that. 
help you choose a spot on the horizon to focus on. At the end of this video, we'd like you to sit down and write a description of the type of person you'd like your child to grow up to be. Do you want your child to be forgiving? Do you want your child to be generous? A good friend, a hard worker, compassionate, determined, loyal. There are lots of great descriptions. Choose three to five words. Make sure you write them down. Keep a copy for yourself and send a copy to me. During the baby dedication event, I'll read your description so the church can share in your goals for your child's development. Now, some of you are going to look at this list and start getting overwhelmed all over again. You're thinking, I'm just trying to get my kid to sleep longer than three hours a night or eat more than marshmallows for breakfast. And you want me to focus on teaching them how to be compassionate? No, that's not what this list is. This list is your ultimate destination. Let your periphery take care of the little things, but let this list navigate the big moments, the big decisions. Right now is important. This crazy, overwhelming moment along the way, every one of them are important. But while you're surviving those, Keep a bigger picture in your mind, the person that your amazing son or daughter can become.